today i shall discuss the formula to define the belt length okay now consider a open belt drive so this is a driver and considering this is follower and this is the belts belt now this belt is wounded over the follower and driver okay now considering the radius of this driver is small r and the radius for follower pulley is capital r okay this is driver and this is follower now this is the center of driver pulley and this is the center of follower pulley okay so see this center is o1 and this is o2 now considering this length between this two center of the driver and follower pulley is x this point is the end point to touch the belt that is the belt is wounded over this surface up to that for driver pulley because it is smaller than this follower pulley so i can make a line here the contact points up to that so and this point is considering a and here as this is the bigger pulley so the point of contact will be up to that so this is b considering this point is p and this is q and we know this angle this angle is alpha therefore this is also alpha okay and if we make a parallel line from these points of the belt then this parallel line will be like that this is a parallel line okay no parallel line. now the if this is ab then this also be ab and this angle will be 90 degree if this angle is alpha then what will be this angle this angle is 90 minus alpha because this angle total is 90 degree and this is alpha so this angle will be, will be 90 minus alpha and this will be alpha okay now find the length the length of this belt considering the this length is l that is length of the belt considering this is l now what is l l is total distance of this belt but if we take the distance from p to q then this is the half length of this total distance of this belt so i can write this 2 into pq because this is the half p to q is the half of total length now i can write this is 2 into 2 into what is pq 
PQ is P to A and A to B and B to Q. So I can write P A plus A B plus B to Q B Q. Therefore, we have to find the PA, AB and BQ. What is PA? PA is the curve which is drawn from P to A. So how we can find what is the, uh, this? This is the radius into this angle. This P to A, this curve is the radius into this angle. So I can write 2 into PA is smaller, I have taken this radius is smaller and this angle is, you can see this 90 minus alpha that is pi by 2 minus alpha plus this distance A to B, A to B and BQ, BQ is the same that is radius into this total angle because B to Q is a curve which is uh, bigger than 90 degree. So I can write this capital R into this angle that is 90 plus alpha that is pi by 2 plus alpha is total angle up to B to Q is pi that is this one is pi by 2 and this alpha so here is pi by 2 plus alpha now we have to find this AB considering this triangle is this is like that this angle now this angle is 90 degree that is pi by 2 now this length is x what is this this is a b as you can see that this this 2 is parallel line so if it is a b then this will be a b and what is this this distance is you can see that this distance equals to this distance that is small r and total distance is capital R so I can write this is capital R minus small r so now you have to find AB AB, AB is this root of r x square minus capital R minus small r of square this square equals to this square minus this square so AB is root of R x square minus R minus capital R minus small r square okay so from this I can write if I take x root of R 1 minus capital R minus small r whole square by x square so this will be x 1 minus capital R minus small r by x square whole square power 1 by 2 using binomial distribution from this binomial distribution we can write this AB equals to AB equals to X 1 minus capital R minus small r whole square by this two will come here to X okay so I can put in this equation this formula will be 2 into 
is smaller pi by 2 minus alpha plus this one x 1 minus capital R minus smaller whole square by 2x square plus capital R pi by 2 plus alpha now from this I can write if we take this one and this one taking the common this pi because if we multiply with all this function then pi because this will cut each other pi in bracket capital R this one plus small r this one and this one this plus you can see the 2 alpha minus 2 alpha and this is plus 2 alpha with small r is there so I can write 2 alpha in bracket this r this r minus here this small r it will be this so this and this is cancelled now remaining is this one which is minus capital R minus small r by 2x and x is cancelled by 2 by 2 so only the x is there is whole square plus here this x with this 2 so this is 2x now I can write this is pi r plus small r plus what is alpha we have to find this alpha now you can see that this alpha is right the value of alpha this alpha equals to or sine alpha sine alpha equals to this by this that is this by this way this so I can write capital R minus small r by this x so it will be as alpha is very small small then alpha equals to capital R minus small r by x so I can put here this one 2 alpha is capital R minus small r by x into capital R minus small r minus capital R minus small r whole square by x plus 2x so I can write this pi capital R plus small r plus this one is 2 capital R minus small r whole square by x minus capital R minus small r x plus 2x so now this uh, these two values are same but only 2 here so pi capital R plus r plus capital R minus r whole square by x plus 2 minus 1 that is 1 plus 2x this is the formula to find the length of the belt for conveyor